In this video, we'll bounce the equation for HNO3 plus Al. This is nitric acid plus aluminum. And we're talking about dilute nitric acid here. If you had concentrated nitric acid, you'd have a different set of products. We also should understand this reaction won't happen. Even though we have aqueous nitric acid, has some water in it, the aluminum, that reacts with the water. It forms this Al2O3 kind of layer that coats the aluminum and protects it. So the reaction really doesn't happen with dilute nitric acid because the water and the aluminum react to form a layer that protects it from the reaction. But if it did happen, if you were asked to balance this equation, here's how you do it. One hydrogen, one nitrogen, three oxygens, and one aluminum. Product side, we have the two hydrogens. For the nitrogen, we have three times one, that's three. And don't forget this nitrogen over here. We have four total nitrogen atoms. Oxygen, three times three is nine. We have one in the hydrogen and then one here. So that gives us 11 oxygen atoms. Aluminum, just one. Let's leave the oxygens to last. That's a good strategy and balance the nitrogens. We'll put a four in front of the nitric acid. One times four, that gives us four hydrogens. Nitrogens, one times four, That'll give us four of those. So we balance the nitrogens. Oxygens, three times four. Now we have 12 oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have two hydrogens, four here. Let's fix the hydrogens by putting it two in front of the water. Two times two, that'll balance the hydrogen atoms. Now for the oxygens, three times three is nine. One times two, that's gonna be two plus one, that equals 12. So that's it. We've balanced the equation. I think the trick here, leave the oxygens to last. That's usually a pretty good strategy. Again, this reaction would take place in dilute nitric acid, except that we form a layer of Al2O3 when the aluminum reacts with the water in the dilute acid. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.